Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. We're getting pretty close to finishing our poster. We really only have the title, credits, and log line to add on. But something feels like it's missing from this poster. I initially couldn't put my finger on it, but then I realized it's missing the gritty, detailed look that we're all used to in movie posters. These guys look out of place, and they look a little soft. Now when it comes down to it, one would think that your image is only as sharp or as detailed as the picture that was taken. Not true at all. One of Photoshop's more magical filters is called the Unsharp Mask. Unsharp Mask will actually bring out details in an image that initially weren't there, or at least you thought they weren't there. It's a very easy effect to apply, and it makes all the difference. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to open up our Robbie Smart object, and we're going to choose one of the layer masks. Specifically, we're going to start with his face, because that is the most obvious and most important difference we're going to see. Zoom in a little bit. Let's go ahead and get to 100%. And we're going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And you can already tell the immense difference it already makes. That's without it, and that's with it. It adds immense amount of detail, and it actually sharpens the edges of his face, which helps for integrating better into the poster. So you have a few different options on making changes. You can change the percentage amount to make it more or less detailed. The more detailed you get, the more abstract it becomes, and the more details start to become a little bit over the top. So you can start to see the immense amount of freckles that he has. So we're going to keep it at 75%. You can also change the radius of the sharpening, which also adds to the amount of detail. It also makes changes depending on the different skin tones that he has. Generally, the higher the radius, the more contrast, but it has different subtle effects. So I'm going to keep it at 8 pixels. And threshold will actually determine how much detail goes into it. So the higher the threshold, the less detail there is. This can be good for kind of matching between the original photo and adding more detail, but I'm going to keep it really small because I really want his detail to show. I'm going to press OK. Now I want the same level of detail to show up on the rest of him, so I'm going to click the rest of Robbie, and I'm simply going to press Command or Control and press F, and it will automatically add the filter. And you can see how big of a difference it makes for him entirely. Now you want to make sure you add this to every layer. His tattoo, the mud on his shoes, his arm. And in an earlier tutorial, I already added the unsharp mask effect to his gun in order to make it look more metallic and gritty, so I don't have to bother with that and look at our freezer burn poster to see the difference. You can already tell that Robbie sticks out in a much different way than he used to. And there's the before, and there's the after. So I'm gonna be applying this to just about every element in my poster, the city, the background, the other two characters, everything, so it has a gritty effect. But you don't wanna just add it on easy peasy like I did with Robbie, you want to make sure that you're adding each filter individually to make it so it matches each other as best as it can without looking weird. Alright guys, so we're almost done with this poster, so the next thing I'm going to do is add in the log line, and it's relatively simple, it's just simply adding text, so it's a pretty simple tutorial, but I'm going to show you a couple extra tricks to make the text more interesting.